Hello lovers, in this video I'm going to be taking you through Dr Edwards' predictions for OCR A A-level biology paper 3. Now, it is really important that you remember that Dr Edwards and I are not affiliated with any exam boards. We have not seen this paper. We do not 100% know what is going to come up. But we've done a lot of thinking, we've done a lot of researching, and this is our list of topics that we like for this year. And if you want some questions based on these topics, then linked in the playlist down below, you'll find the paper that we've worked on where we go through loads and loads of predictive questions for this year. And then Dr. Woodwards is going to show you how to structure your answer, how to interpret an exam question, how to interpret a graph, a table, a diagram, so that you can lay out your answer clearly for the examiners and try and pick up as many marks as possible. But if you're stuck for what to revise on, if you don't really know where to start, then this is our list of things for you to start off with. So we would like you to start off with blood. Ugh, I know, I'm a chemistry teacher, I'm going to leave all of the blood and the plants to Dr Edwards because she loves it. So we'd specifically like you to look at haemoglobin and ball shift within blood. So all of the graphs are involved in that and can you actually interpret the graphs and explain the shape of the graphs properly? In biology one of my favourite things is genetic crosses. I absolutely love drawing them. So please learn all of the examples that you've come across in class and how you can actually take those and apply those to a new situation. Can you explain the frequency of the numbers that come up? And one of the things we specifically like to look at in all of this is epistasis. So all the examples you know of epistasis and then practice applying them to some new situations. So this cross, this cross or this expected allelic frequency. We would like you to look at gas exchange. Now this is quite a big topic because gas exchange happens in lots of different places but one specific area we'd like you to look at is gas exchange in fish. Now this can be quite a complicated topic so please make sure you understand exactly what is going on as things pass over the gills and what goes in, out, where and what the diffusion gradient actually means. We'd like you to look at all of the different nutrient cycles and how they interact with each other and the ecosystems. One of the ones we specifically like you to look at is the nitrogen cycle. Now there are lots of different things that could be linked into the nitrogen cycle, it could be uptake of plants and get into amino acids, or there are other things that could be linked into the ecosystem and biodiversity as well. We would like you to look at kidney structure and osmoregulation. Now this is quite a big topic, so please make sure that you are fully okay on your structure of your kidneys, what happens, where, what the names of everything are, and then when we're looking at osmoregulation, how all the different hormones play a part in that. And then the last big topic we'd like you to look at as a start for your revision is cell division and cancer. So all the different things that occur in mitosis and all the things that could go wrong in mitosis that could potentially lead to cancer. And then the impact on the treatment of cancer as well. So that is our list for you to start with your revision if you're a bit stuck, if you want something to focus on to really, really help you kick off your revision. But please remember to rise absolutely everything. If you want to any questions based around those topics, then linked in the description down below is the walkthrough of our predicted paper for this year. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>